Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be trying to install Arch Linux as fast as possible. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I'm going to attempt to install Arch Linux as fast as I possibly can on a 16 gigabyte virtual machine with eight cores running at four gigahertz uh, through Virt Manager. So this is uh, Arch. This is well, Linux being virtualized. As best as it can, it's as it's close as hard, as close as bare metal as I can get without actually bare metaling. This is using the latest version of Arch Linux, which is 5.19.6, downloaded less than half an hour before the start of the video. So this is the up-to-date version. Now, I've done a few other versions of Arch Linux install in the past. I'm installing Arch Linux in the past, but this time it's just as fast as I possibly can. So, let us begin the install. Now, right, so first thing we want to do is we want to do scroll up my instructions. So we want to do uh, make sure network is working. It is okay, good. And now we want to just do clear and we want to do time date CTL yeah. set net time protocol to true. Make sure my drive is there. It is. I want to do CF disk. I want to do DOS for the because it's less than two terabytes. So free space. I want this to be 512 M primary. Make that bootable here. Here primary. Right. Yes. Quit. That must be okay. That is as we wanted. Let's drive now we need to do like come under VDA1 and VDA2. So now we want to do make directory slash oh, make file system.ext4 dev slash um VDA1. That works in VDA2. Discarding dump. Clear. Now we want to do mount uh, slash dev slash VDA. Uh, two to mnt we want to do make directory slash mnt slash boot to and we want to mount slash dev slash vda one to slash mount boot now that we've done that do lsp okay uh that is set the correct array correct way around and we want to do Pack strap slash mnt base base devl uh, Linux Linux firmware and Vim. So this is just going to download and install everything that we might need. Uh, praise the Lord for having fast internet. So so far we are. Two minutes and 20 seconds in. That's not too bad at all. So once this is finished, we're going to generate an FS tab file. We're going to do that with a slash U. And that should be fine. Wait for this to finish. So all we've got to do is just sit and wait. And as we can see here, this took a total of 17 seconds. That's not too bad at all. So what we need to do now is we need to do gen first tab hyphen u slash mnt into slash mnt slash etc slash fs tab. And then from there, we need to do. Jesus Christ, this call stop trying to pop me. Right, once we've done that, we need to do arch uh, tree root. Oh my god, I clicked into you. Arch tree root. That's slash 
mnt slash in bash. Now that we're there, we need to do pacman hyphen s network manager and grub. Uh, let's try that again with the correct one. With that to finish, my web board, my right now, just finish saying king of you. Now we need to enable the network manager. So to do that, we need to do system ctl enable net work manager. Remember that those need to be done with capitals because otherwise they won't be enabled. Rub install slash dev slash VDA. Remember to do the VDA because it's a virtual disk. Well, for some reason it's set up as a VDA instead of SDA. And we've got to wait for this to finish installing for the i386 PC platform. Looks like this is going to be the uh, longest part, which is unfortunate. So this could be done using Arch install, which does ship with um, it does ship with the uh, our Arch platform. It does ship with install with no bother. So let's just do root and then just um, let's be okay. VDA and VDA one. It's done. It. Well, good. Right. So that's done. And then we want to because uh, we've now enabled network manager installed grub and then we want to do grub make config o slash root slash grub slash grub dot cfg that's done and now we want to do pass wd right and now we want to now we need to set up the locale so what we need to do now is we need to do vim slash dc slash locale dot gen go hit insert go all the way down to the language you use in my case it is enus you can either be enus uh, 88591 or utf i'm going to be using the utf8 standard let's do control c colon right quit and do that clear that out of the way now that we've done that do locale hyphen gen I'll generate the locale with UTF-8, which is the one I selected. And then we need to do uh, vim slash etc slash locale.conf. Nothing's going to be here. So what we need to do is uh, lang equals en hyphen us dot utf8. Control C, control C, uh, colon, right, right, quit, uh, exclamation mark. Now that we've done that. We need to set a host name, so we need to do host name slash etc slash host name and just go uh, next control C right to quit exit. And now we need done with that, we need to do a link to SF user share zone info. This is set in the time zone, so I'm in America, New York. You'll have to find out the uh, one you're doing. And you can hit tab on the areas and I'll just drop out a list. But because I know I'm in the New York time zone, I don't need to do that. I'm going to do just local time. Local time. Exit. Now we need to do U mount R uh, M N T. And now we need to do reboot. Give this a chance. Arch Linux. We need to do view screen and And we're in. And that took me eight minutes twenty one from start to finish. And now we're at it just for argument's sake, we'll do Pac-Man hyphen S. Neofetch. Install Neofetch. And why'd you know? This system has been on for twenty seven seconds. We're currently uh, using bash uh, five point one point one six. As we can see, it's like, hey look, you're using QAMU, this is good. Um but other than that, uh, that is it. It's uh, Arch Linux installed as fast as possible. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the uh, 
dislike button. Uh, both of them work, but you can only see one of them. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell as well. And do all that YouTube stuff as well. Don't forget to share this around. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.